Chase, we talked about the Blue Futon, and I saw Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. This comes out in December 31st, or 21st, whatever. I got a sneak peek of it. Should this be your last wish to watch this movie during Christmas? Let's find out. So looking at Christmas releases, you maybe have a man named Otto, you have Babylon and Puss in Boots, so maybe Puss in Boots is your choice for Christmas. So Puss in Boots, what's it about? It's a very simple premise, actually. Puss in Boots has died eight times already. Cats have nine. Do quick math. Nine minus eight is one. And now he needs to go to the Dark Force and find that grounded star and have that last wish so he can have his life back. But now he's not the only one going for it. Kitty Soft pauses in it. Jack Horner, Goldilocks, and the Three Bears, and he has a dog friend with him. And will he make it, and will he realize what the last wish he really wants? So, did I like this film? Well, I watched Puss in Boots yesterday, and then the sequel today. I'm glad to say the sequel is a vastly superior movie by almost all fronts. The humor, the animation, the story, just the overall message completely sucked me in. And there's a lot of cute dog and cat eyes where I was like, oh, I want my Mickey with me. Anyway, so what I like about this movie, I thought the voice acting was great. You have Antonio Banderas, you have Simon Hayek, you have a bunch of people. Florence Pugh's in it now as Goldilocks. You have Olivia Coleman as Mother Bear and just a lot of other characters and each one of them shines. The animation. So I was a little nervous going into this because you're used to the Shrek animation where the DreamWorks original, you know, you have the Shrek, you have, you know, uh, how to Train Your Dragon, you have the original Puss in Boots, and now they're going more of the bad guys route, you know, and even other animated companies doing Mitchell vs. the Machine, you have Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and what Puss in Boots does good is mixes the Spider-Verse bad guys looking, as well as going back to the original, you know, Puss in Boots Shrek style of animation. While it could be a little bit daunting, it changes pretty drastically, so it takes a little bit, a little bit of time to get into that. But anyway, the story. The story is really heartfelt, it's really cute, and it does have a fantastic message that even adults and kids should get. And the humor works on both levels, adult humor as well as kid humor. Who would have thought Dingleberries would be in a kid's movie like this? I bet you kids are like, what's a Dingleberry? And you're just like, ah, <laughs> Dingleberry. And also, finally, the best positive I can say about this movie is the story elements and fairy tale elements. They decided to go back into the realm of like bringing back Pinocchio, the Gingerbread Man, Cinderella Story, uh, Unicorns. They go full-blown crazy in this story, and they completely need it to, to bring you back into this Shrek universe. And doing that made me enjoy the movie a lot more. But with that, I would say the negative, there are just too small for me, is you know the animation, like I said, can be daunting. Because you'll have like Puss in Boots talking to the werewolf, which that twist I enjoyed drastically. What they decided to do with that twist because you're thinking, oh, it's the big bad wolf. Is it though? And I thought that was really smart. But then when it goes to him talking to the big bad wolf, and then all of a sudden, like it goes to the fight sequence, the fight sequence is almost, I want to say, like two steps. It's almost in fast forward or it's jump cutty. That's, I think maybe it's more like jump cutty. So it's like the action isn't as smooth as the other story and the other storytelling elements. So, to me, I enjoyed it, how unique it was and different, but I kind of wish it wasn't so different. And also, I would say about 7% of the movie is in Spanish. So, of course, you have like Sama Hayek, Antonio Banderas, who else you have in it? You have uh, Harvey Gov- Govin, as well as uh, Wagner Morua. Uh, they speak Spanish, I don't know if they're from Spain or Mexico, because I know Sam and Hayek and Antonio Banderas are Spaniards, Spain. So, you know, I didn't know what they were saying. I kind of wish I did, because I'm one of those people that are like, I want to know if I'm missing any dialogue elements. Of course, I know I'm Cubano and like, you know, very good, very good and good. But other than that, I didn't know what else they were saying. But overall, Puss in Boots is a great movie. And there's nothing after the credits, but the last, you know, shot, you're like, all right. We are bringing something back from the past, and I do think it's needed. But the one question is, will they bring an actress back from retirement to voice someone in where they're going with it? But like I said, put some boots, The Last Wish, I highly recommend it. This should get nominated for an Oscar. This is better than, you know, Strange Worlds, 100%. Lightyear, 100%. 
turning red, maybe iffy. Bad guys, I prefer this one over bad guys too. So this one to me is one of the higher tiers. Of course, it's not going to beat Pinocchio. Even though to me, Pinocchio is a great movie. The second act still falters in that one. But see it with your kids on Christmas if you have that tradition. So Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, will receive a 4 out of 5 of Futons, which equals at 80%. Let's see what the Critics News scores gave this one, even though I doubt there's going to be anything. I didn't think so. Zero critics. Audience score, though, there's a 97% with over 50 no critic consensus. But yeah, I'm not shocked with that 97% because this is a family-friendly movie that kids and adults can enjoy in the theater, bar none. 9780, Chase Shock with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you know what you think is Blue You Blue Tony and Sank watching a fantastic day. And yeah, like I said, if you have to see a movie with your kids on Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, Christmas, this should suffice 100%.